Hey guys, welcome back to Universal Love Law. I just wanted to give a quick message to some people that this might resonate with. So, a lot of you guys might already be aware that time does not exist in higher realms. Here, time is linear. We have the Gregorian calendar. We follow 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week, 365 days in a year. But that's the way we see things based on the construct of this paradigm at this moment in time. But when you evolve your thinking, your mind, and you become enlightened, time is not linear. Time does not exist. The past, present, and future is in the moment and it ha- is happening continuously. Even in higher realms, our higher self, because we only come with a portion of our soul, our over soul is literally time traveling. Higher evolved beings, awoken beings, They realized that through enlightenment that we chose to come in this time due to quantum, physics, probable outcome. We knew that we would be called here. We knew there was a high probability that we would be called here in this moment in time. So we all have a choice due to free will And depending on our soul's strength and our soul's endurance and ability to get access to those light codes and those downloads of information and be able to share the knowledge, attracting like minds and utilizing our freedom of speech to spread awareness and truth with the intention of rising the vibration of the collective. When we tap into this frequency, we begin to activate our purpose, which was to be the butterfly effect, which was to transmute this moments of time collectively on our individual journeys. Um, We begin to realize our role and position in this mass awakening and this grand awakening process and so I say all that to just enlighten you on the spirit realm okay the the dark space the void in higher realms time does not exist our higher self our over soul is in the past present and future and due to the times based on probability and quantum mathematics because everything in the higher realms is mathematics okay and science this is why i have metatron cube on my picture my universal love law picture metatron's cube is the source of information okay it's the top of the tree of life and I will do a um, I will do a video too about Metatron's cube, about Archangel Metatron and all of the other archangels because I feel as though a lot of people <clears throat> are misunderstanding the the true essence and the true meaning behind having an angelic spirit. Uh, we've already seen people questioning others like like authority who can who are you to say you are the divine essence of an archangel right we've seen people do that but ultimately we cannot we we cannot truly know it a hundred percent but when you are activated unaware you will have a sense when you're in the presence of an angel or someone that has 
that is embodying the characteristics of that archangel. And that goes into this old saying, um, you know the tree by the fruit it bears, okay? So ultimately, one would be able to truly sense sense and see with the with their unseen eye um, if they're in the presence of something that is high vibrational or is of unconditional love or is of higher knowledge and um, tapped into a frequency of objectivity uh, but that's neither here nor there ultimately this video is to inspire one to know that higher our higher self chose the timeline uh, collectively and individually there are many people souls that come to incarnate with the true purpose and hopefully this will um, trigger some curiosity in one mind to to begin to ask those questions to yourself when you're alone um, do some research we're in the age of technology where all information is practically feasible right on our at, right at our fingertips so it's very important to to take action into that and things will be revealed in time over time some things take long periods of time many experiences you know our spirit guides work a lot to help us to see the messages that they have been trying to reveal to us through um, animal totems, through signs, through numbers, through synchronicities. So when you're trying to discover information, it may take time because you may be missing the signs. But if you practice tapping into your intuition, you begin to see the synchronicities more often. And it does make you strange. It does make you a little weird. It makes you feel a little bit disconnected. And it may even pull you apart from being able to connect with people and congregate with people. It may even pull you into a very lonely space because you're, it's so many, so much information being revealed to you that you sometimes detach from the collective awareness and you begin to just really become in tune with all the signs you can make a person really strange right or unorthodox but ultimately it makes you unique so i know i said a lot but i just wanted to reach out to you guys to let you know the butterfly effect is real and some of you that are listening um, especially if you're still listening, may truly realize that you chose this time. Your higher self is in the future, is in the past, and in the present in multiple realms of realities and multiple dimensions, different spaces um, that you are allowed to be in based on ranking, authority, and vibrational frequency. So when you when you truly understand that, overstand that, you begin to realize that you chose this time. And so take action. Um, begin to listen to that inner voice because there's someone that needs to hear it from you. And there's someone in the world that needs to see you and feel, feel it from you. So when it's time, speak up. Everyone's not supposed to have a platform or be the popularest guru, right? There's some people that you may meet and on an everyday basis, right? Or in your individual waking life that you are here to give that knowledge in that moment of time. So um, it looks different for us all, but ultimately know that it's a beautiful time to be alive it's a beautiful time to have come in an art in an incarnation here to change the the route in which the world is 
headed okay if we didn't have many souls to attempt to spread knowledge based on intuition insight downloads if we just were off in fear of that and stayed enslaved in our minds based on theologies that were brainwashed programmed and forced into us if we didn't tap into this unique ability then we would not be changing the direction in which this quantum world is headed okay this 3d matrix is headed so the more work that we do activating everyone around us or at least just putting effort into it we begin to do our role and fulfill our role here okay now i feel like i've said a lot but you know when the information begins to flow it's very important to allow it so look forward to my specific uh definition on the archangel energies and this might even help one who feels very connected to some spiritual gifts and might not know they share an aspect okay um of those higher archangel fallen angels yes some are fallen angels okay uh last but not least i have to say this <laughs> there is a thin line between um reality and illusion okay there's a very thin line because sometimes what we perceive as truth is really a distorted lie. Um, and so it's really important. I don't want to confuse you guys or lose you guys. But when I say things as good or bad or when we have a preconceived belief system on things like fallen angels or uh, based on religion, it can get us into... A fear-based mind and I would never encourage anyone on my platform to operate in fear because there is just multiple perspective yeah and once one is ready to see things from a very objective outlook they begin to see multiple sides versus the duality right duality is in a sense, kind of low vibrational. It's saying that there's only one or the other, black and white. So I have to say that, but yeah, I gotta go. I hope you guys have an excellent day or night or morning. Whenever you are viewing this, I hope you're doing well. And I hope this video reaches you in good spirit. Um, stay strong. Keep fighting, keep those high vibes, and peace.